Uber comrades on Patreon supporting my work. My partner Rose sent Independent Left News. Definitely check out Independent Left News. This is from um, Comrade Natalie on Twitter. And apparently Hassan, Hassan Piker had, or I should say was commenting on um, North Korea their uh you know kind of internal politics whatnot and his opinions are very cringe very western chauvinist on this on this topic um and i don't know it's not really that surprising a lot of people on the so-called left however they identify you know whether it be socialist social democrat etc frankly have quite uh, horrible views and opinions on socialist countries outside of the United States um, and tend to kind of demonize countries like China and in this case Hassan towards North Korea when in fact doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about and should frankly shut the fuck up and keep North Korea out of his western chauvinist privileged mouth frankly so we'll listen see what he says um one of the stranger parts of watching Hassan last night was that he's repeatedly told his young and impressionable audience that apparently every person who stands in solidarity with the DPRK claims that in the north they eat hamburgers for every single meal LMAO I talked about it, but really the impression I got from him was that not only he has not read much on the subject, but he has never actually sincerely engaged a DPRK supporter, isn't familiar, familiar with any of the arguments, and hence straw man shit he's made up is all he has to offer. Because again, he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about, and so he's just bullshitting as, he, as he's going along and basically just parodying U.S. State Department talking points imperialist talking points about um about uh the democratic people's republic of of korea at this point so um by the way what we watched last night he also claimed that the philosophy of jushi's uh theocracy and monarchy law then talked about how DP, dprk is pro-imperialism and instead we should support palestine cuba nicaragua all of the closest allies of dprk how he claims the DPRK is pro-imperialist? What the fuck? Okay, what does he say here? Let's see. Not for me. I'd rather go back and serve the glorious Jusha Empire. Sorry. Not for me. I'd rather... Again, he's just another fucking Western chauvinist privileged hack sitting in his, what, $2.7 million home, which is fine. But keep North Korea out your mouth. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. So keep your Western chauvinist opinions, your social chauvinist opinions to yourself, you fucking imperialist hack. I almost forgot at one point he said we should end sanctions and let them trade freely. And I was given a little praise immediately. He followed it up with explaining how he only wants sanctions relief so they can be a dangus style revolution to overthrow them. Generally went... Th in thinking I might be surprised by Hassan's opinions on the issue, but yeah, repeatedly demonstrated he's on one of those spineless fucking losers uh, who in one breath condemns sanctions, then uh, with his next lists all the false justifications for those sanctions. Again, yes, leave it at that. Call out, call out the U.S.'s role in the horrible things that may be happening to DPRK and the people there and the most you know vulnerable and marginalized call out the u.s's role in that you obviously have no fucking idea about what actually life is like in north korea or what their political system is all about um so just stick to the first part call out the u.s sanctions call for those being ended that's good stick to that leave the other shit alone because you're just serving imperialism U.S. State Department talking points and your social or Western chauvinism really comes through when you get to that other part, Hassan. So, yes, call out the sanctions. That's awesome. Too enthusiastic thumbs up for that. 
once you start spouting off that those imperialist talking points that western chauvinist bullshit shut the fuck up leave the fucking room you don't know what the fuck you're talking about maybe if you're actually wanted to learn about this topic maybe have somebody like comrade natalie on or um check out uh this site uh defendkorea.com which is the pac 2 solidarity alliance uh peace now reunification now us out now they have an amazing uh wide range of different things you could learn about what's going on in north korea from you know not a freaking imperialist hack source you have news education audio visual works works of kim il sung kim jong il works of kim jong un culture and people architecture about the psa um but no he hassan just parodying fucking imperialist bullshit talking points um which again not not surprising a lot of people on the left do the same exact thing whether it's towards the dprk towards china towards syria towards whatever country the united states has been trying to you know demonize and you know overthrow for however long so not not surprising that hassan is this horrible on this topic but it needs to be called out because it is it's fucking bullshit right and he's literally serving uh imperialism uh and regime change by talking this bullshit about dprk something again he clearly knows very little about um as do i but i also know no stick to calling out the role of the u.s being so destructive and horrible in these countries stick to that you don't know what's going on in dprk you haven't been over there you're not an expert so shut the fuck up on that focus on how you how the role of the u.s is fucking over that country leave all the other shit alone He's not able to do that because he's a Western chauvinist and he thinks he has all these grand ideas about how these countries should should be run. But again, shut the fuck up, Hassan. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. When in reality, they have nothing. Like, these people have nothing. The most significant impact on the North Korean citizens' lives right, it's does not, not very come loud. from the authoritarian regime. So I don't know if you can hear that, but he's saying the most serious impacts don't come from the authoritarian regime, but come from the sanctions. Another point for Hassan. Okay, here we fucking go. <laughs> All right, it's, it's still hard F, but he is making some correct points. My life placed upon North Korea and their over reliance on China to even have a fucking uh, international. Uh, yeah, there's nothing wrong with North Korea having to rely on china or wanting to partner with china like nothing wrong with that china is a socialist country the dprk is a socialist country that partnership makes a lot of fucking sense <laughs> okay now having said that are they incredibly authoritarian so now he's talking about how they're incredibly authoritarian again he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about he's literally parodying state department talking points without actually citing any type of sources so again this is like the type of shit that fucking the hacks at tyt would do to prop up you know their imperialist fucking views saying and kim kim jong-un is horrible absolutely and then there's somebody saying they're taking back the points of giving them any credit. Gulags, prison camps. Like, again, this is all fucking State Department imperialist talking points. He literally... Jesus Christ, this is some of the fucking shit you'd hear out of the Trump or fucking Biden administration, right? Like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, he's just saying, well, yeah, like, the sanctions are bad, but also all this horrible shit's going on. There's authoritarian, there's gulags, there's prison camps. 
It's fucking horrible, man. Like, shut the fuck up, dude. Every single fucking stereotype yeah, exactly. But then also, like, say, oh, but... but He's so. sp- literally speaking out both sides of his mouth. Again, the only thing Hassan needed or should have said on this fucking topic um, was that and the fucking sanction. The sanctions that the United States has placed on the DPRK has serious disastrous consequences they're inhumane they're illegal they're disgusting they need to be removed right away full stop that's all you fucking need to say on the topic or if you wanted to go further you'd be calling out the bullshit and propaganda but instead all he is doing is parodying and spreading more bullshit and propaganda about the dprk like jesus christ literally doing the work of imperialists and regime change mongers you know within the biden administration or the national security state like jesus christ dude and he considers himself on the left i think he identifies this i think he identifies as a socialist right like where's his fucking international solidarity hassan like again shut the fuck up you don't know what the fuck you're talking about keep the dprk out of your fucking western chauvinist mouth while also literally listing the fucking reasons and justification for the fucking sanctions, acting like it's fucking legitimate and real. I'm not denying that. That would be really stupid to deny that. I'm Again, stupid. like, he's saying he's not denying that, but what source, what proof is he giving to substantiate these claims? None, because they're not substantiated. It's all fucking bullshit and, and propaganda. He wouldn't be able to do that. Yeah, Hassan, Hassan fucking Piker living in his fucking $3 million house really fucking knows. Yeah, he's sitting <laughs> yeah he really knows. Yeah, exactly. He Hassan really knows the, the struggles of the people in North Korea. <laughs> West Hollywood, you really fucking know about the living conditions in the DPRK. The living conditions in North Korea, awful, absolute fucking... <sighs> <laughs> he did, like, yeah, like, <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, Hassan? Shut the fuck up, you... Goddamn social chauvinist fucking imperialist hack. I wonder what the fucking living conditions are like in the areas of LA that you don't want to fucking live in. <laughs> so you can live in your fucking your status neighborhood. This <laughs> routinely exaggerate in an effort to pander to Western audiences to make more money to sell their books? Also true. It doesn't take away from how fucking horrible uh, North Korea is. Again, he doesn't literally knows nothing nothing factual about the country he's just parodying bullshit and propaganda that has been fed to him by the corporate media by the u.s government um well again it's good that he called out the sanctions um again it would have been much better if he left it at that than instead of spreading this these imperialist talking points about the dprk which again all he's doing at this point I think he is being a freaking sucker, actually, um, and just completely bought hook, line, and sinker all of the propaganda about North Korea, right? I mean, Jesus fucking Christ. God damn, man. Alright, so that's Hassan and his very cringe, very Western chauvinist, very social chauvinist opinion on the DPRK. Shut the fuck up, Hassan. If you actually want to learn something, go to this site. Can't see it, but it's defendkorea.com. Have I'm going to start uh, doing a little bit of learning uh, myself. Um, exposition of the principles of the Jushi, Jushi idea. What is the view of the Jushi idea of the world? There we go. Damn, this is the long... Let's see who wrote this. Was it... Pyongyang, the DPRK Foreign Language Publishing House, 2014. The Jushi Idea is a man-centered world outlook. It is a revolutionary scientific political theory that accurately illuminates the way for realizing the independence of the masses. Kim Jong's... Kim Jong's second... 
reflecting the desire of humanity for great ideology. Human history is the history of ideology from the inception and the emergence of human beings. They have created different ideologies. Um, boom. And, yeah, so apparently um, Hassan was actually, let's see. He was saying the philosophy is Yushi is theocracy and monarchy again he clearly doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about <laughs> like this is talking about what the gc is doesn't have anything to do with mon monarchy or theocracy so again shut the fuck up hassan focus on the role of the u.s and the harm it's causing in countries like the dprk focus on that focus on that and if you want to go beyond that, then practice some solidarity with these socialist countries. If you're able to do that with your fucking social chauvinist outlook, you fucking imperialist hack. Jesus Christ, man. <sighs> yes, this really sounds like it has a lot to do with monarchy and theocracy. Fucking goddamn, what a fucking hack he is, all right? It was the birth of the Jushi idea that eliminates the road of shaping destiny independently, putting an end to the history of human destiny full of subjugation and distress. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the Jushi idea is the ideology of respecting human beings of philosophy of independence. Yeah, what the fuck does that have to do with theocracy or monarchy, Hassan? Absolutely fucking nothing, you ignorant fucking imperialist hack. Jesus Christ, man. Places people in the center. Not a king. Not a religious figure. People, Hassan. God fucking damn, dude. Again, do a little bit of digging. It's clear Hassan Piker doesn't know his fucking anything substantive about what's at actually happening in the dprk or about the political theory or philosophy you know guiding that um you know country in their um you know socialist revolution jesus christ okay so this is very long but you get the idea i'm going to link this website down below because it is really a treasure trove of um a uh, just amazing resources on the DPRK and a great great place to start you know learning more about uh, you know what's what's going on in that country and if Hassan is really interested check out this fucking site don't be parodying US State Department talking points um, look at, yes this is really about theocracy and monarchy the Jushi like the thriving socialist country is the one that has strong state power and where everything is bountiful and the people live without envy. Jesus Christ, man. <sighs>